Hello and welcome to Art in 30. I'm Soba. I'm with the Lethbridge Artist Club. Today's program, I have my uh, daughters with me, Situ and Sudanya. Today we're going to try pouring paint on a canvas and um, make it move so that it gives you a nice swirly painting at the end. We could always start with primary colors, blue, yellow, red, and of course you could take white and black. And then we want to make sure that you make your paint um, so that it kind of flowy like this, not too thin, not too thick. You could use uh, a medium uh, to make your paint thin. Always choose heavy body acrylics and then you could add a medium which says transparent and glass. That means when uh, the paint is drying, uh, it will be transparent so you would have the same paint color and then it will give you a shiny look. So always use transparent and glass as the pouring medium. And you could, always, you could always add a gel into your paint because the paint, paint are so expensive. When you are using uh, pouring acrylic paints, uh, you will have to add a gel. So you could use a little bit of paint and then add the same amount of gel into it. And then um, if you do that, the color of your paint would not change. So always try to use, again, uh, transparent and glass gel medium. So I've uh, made all the paint using the medium and gel. And uh, my daughter, Situ and Sudanya, will kind of show you how to start off with paint. When you have the primary colors, you could always make any other color you want. Mixing two colors, three colors together, then you could make any color you want. Okay. So Sudanya is going to try to make green with the paint. So she's going to add yellow, paint, and uh, blue. Okay, that's enough. And then if you mix it together, then you could make green. And now Situ can try pouring paint. Which colors do you want to pick? Red. So we pour the paint. Onto your canvas, like little blobs. Okay, and then what other color do you want to add? Yellow. Okay, and then you could add some blue. Okay, and then now we can move the canvas. so that the paint is moving and mixing on the canvas. You could try to. And do you want blue, white, green and white? Okay. Do you want me to help? Do you want me to help? Okay. And then... So you want to move the paint so that it kind of covers the whole canvas. Right? You can always add a few more. 
blobs in there, right? You want to add red? A little bit, no, on the middle, like that. Okay, now you can move it. Okay. Okay. I think that's good. Hmm? Okay, you have to turn it up. That's good. Okay. Oh, keep it. Okay, that's done. I think we need to add a little bit more with this side. So it's a, it's a fun activity to do with your kids or by yourself. We'll try another painting with uh, flow acrylics. I like to call it go with the flow and uh, I like to tell one more thing before we start when you get the canvas I would usually put one more cord of gesso on top of it that you bring it from the store and then to make sure that you have a smooth surface uh, to this kind of uh, painting technique okay uh, again now I have paints that are uh, flowing so we'll try adding few you could this is uh, some technique that you could try um, uh, when you have some free time free paint the possibilities with this painting technique is endless all of you can uh, do it together, 10 or more together, and still at the same time you will end up with a different painting. It will not be the same painting even if you use the same colors. So I'm trying uh, different colors that I have. So first pour all the paint uh, on the canvas on top of each other is fine I'm going to use some yellow in there and some green fish The only thing that you need to make sure is that your paint is nice uh, consistency without any clumps in it. Make it fluid uh, really nice. Okay, I think I need more paint in here. Dark colors, light colors together. You could pick the paint that you want uh, on your canvas. At the end, uh, it will come down to matching the colors. Whatever the colors that you pick uh, will 
definitely have an impact on the painting that you gonna end up with. I'm gonna use all my paint that's left over. And then we could uh, start swirling the paint. I think I wanna add some black here and there as well. Okay, and then we'll try to move the paint. I think it's going okay. So you want to move your paint. As much as, um, if we could uh, let the paint cover the whole canvas, that would be the best. Okay, I think I want to add a little bit more paint. On the edges. And it all changes with the consistency of the paint. Like if you use really thin paint, it would kind of mix nicely. The only thing is that you have to know when to stop. Otherwise you're gonna end up with a mucky painting, all the paint gonna mix up, so that's not good. So then you have to know when to stop. That's important. Okay, I think I have to add a little bit more. Ooh. And usually at the end what I do is I would mix few colors together and then I come up with a totally different color that I never heard of. And that's good too. You always you can make different colors and then that'll be a unique color. It'll be just your painting. No one else will be able to make that color. Right, so now I've added a little bit of uh, thin paint so that it's running a bit faster than the thick paint, right? So I just want to say that with this technique, uh, the paintings that you could create, your creations are endless. More, the more colors you add, different combinations of colors that you get, it's all imagination, right? It's the paintings that you could create are endless. That's what I have learned so far, trying to use this technique. So you all could try it and create beautiful paintings. We'll try to make a scenery, a beach scenery on this canvas. Uh, Lethbridge is really good. The only thing that I miss in Lethbridge is the beach. So we'll try to make a beach on the canvas. Uh, you could either pour paint straight away, but I would always uh, divide my canvas 
which part would be the C. So uh, this part would be the C and then I would probably do a small beach and then the sky. So we'll start pouring the paint. Make sure the paint is properly mixed without any clumps. Then, so this would be the sky. And then, could add some clouds. And then what we want to do is we're going to move the paint And then I think I need a little bit more blue up here. Okay, we'll put the next layer of paints to make the C. Okay, I'm pouring uh, C green or, or uh, blue green. And then we'll add a little bit of light blue as well from here and there. Uh, pouring paint usually depends mostly on color, how you uh, mix different colors together, how you add those colors. So we want to make 
uh, sure that we have a color balance in our painting as well. So we could add a few uh, bits of light green and dark green and some white, of course, uh, into the uh, sea. White would represent the waves. And then let's see how we can uh, move the paint so that it looks like sea waves. So we could try moving the paint horizontally so that they look like the sea. And then maybe kind of look like sea waves a little bit. Okay, the other important thing is when we are moving the paint, you have to know when to stop moving. Otherwise, if you keep swirling, swirling, it's going to end up with mixing all the colors. So you want to know when do we stop the moving of painting. And then my beach. So when using pouring paint, uh, one might think that you have to waste a lot of paint. So unless you are, like when you're first trying it out, you could always use craft paint, and that's perfectly fine. And then once you figure it out how to do it, actually, then you can use professional paint to do it. And then I'm going to try and finish the beach part, hopefully. I need more colors in there. And feel more brown. And maybe some yellow paint. Get some yellow paint. And so you want to make sure that we are filling the canvas. We are not leaving uh, white spots in the canvas. And you could always use either a spoon or a popsicle stick to finish up the rest. So if you would like more information about the Lethbridge Artist Club, you could visit our website or our Facebook page. Uh, we offer classes and uh, we give opportunities to exhibit your art. 
So you're welcome to join our club anytime. And thank you so much for tuning in um, for Art in 30. Uh, I'm Soba. Uh, we'll meet you next time. Thank you.